Alright Tyler, today we're going to teach you how to play clarinet. I know this is a different environment from learning trumpet, but this should fit you a little bit better because I know how you said it's really tough for you to play trumpet and it really doesn't make you feel comfortable. So we're going to let you play something smoother, something that you might like for once. Okay, so I'm going to teach you how to build a really quick and easy embouchure. So let's pretend, before we even get a chance to play, what an embouchure is, is pretty much what sets the musician up to play. It can mean like your body posture, it can range from your feet, but we're going to focus on your facial area. Is that okay? Yeah. Okay, so before we learn how to hold the clarinet, I want you to pretend that you're an old man. Do you get what I mean? Let's say you don't have any teeth in. What does that look like? They were curled in. Mm-hmm. Flat chin. Mm. Ish. Kind of ish, yeah. Like this. Yeah. Just remember, that's the first step. You're not going to need your upper lip, but your bottom lip is going to face this wood thing that's on there, which is called the reed. The reed is what actually vibrates and makes sound come out of the clarinet. And if you want to try that, just try and like put your bottom lip rolled on and just feel like, you feel how it's supposed to be rolled in? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. And what you're going to do next, when you have that bottom lip rolled in, there's the top part of the uh, clarinet, can you lift it up? Okay. This piece is called the mouthpiece. Mm -hmm. This is what you put your, pretty much your whole embouchure get up. Mm -hmm. And what you're going to want to do is keep your bottom lip rolled in. Mm -hmm. And I'm not going to tell you to bite the mouthpiece, but I want you to think of it as resting your teeth and your top lip over it. You do not have to have it rolled in. It'll give you a really funny sound and it, it might feel a little bit uncomfortable. So, okay, I want you to sit up straight, your feet flat on the floor, like military style right now. And you have the, and right now I'm seeing good embouchure. Before we actually let you play, I want you to remind you, I'm sorry, when you play, you're going to have to keep your jaw dropped. Like, let's pretend you have a tennis ball in your mouth. Can you show me what it's like to have a tennis ball in your mouth? Um, it's gonna, like, just gonna, Okay. What do you quote, mean? When I say tennis ball in your mouth, maybe I should have been more elaborate. I mean, like, have that embouchure, right? Mm -hmm. Keep that embouchure on there. And then try and, like, pretend there's a big tennis ball in your mouth. Mm-hmm. All right, and what that does is lower your chin, and your chin is what's going to give you a better tone. Mm -hmm. And also, when you hold the clarinet, bring it a little bit closer to you, just a little bit. It might feel like your top teeth are being pushed a little bit, but it's also good that it, it's like that. Mm -hmm. does, that does that feel a little bit weird? Not really. Okay, well, good. All right, now that we taught you how to set an embouchure, we're going to teach you how to play a few notes. So I want you to have your right hand on the clarinet and your top. There you go. Just like that. Does the thumb rest feel a little, a little bit uncomfortable for you? Nope. Okay, cool. So that's how you properly hold the clarinet. And with each piece on there, let's go over what you know so far. The big plastic thing is Ooh. called a mouthpiece and the reed on there is what you put on the mouthpiece and you see the shiny metal thing that's holding the reed and the mouthpiece together mm -hmm. that's called a really fancy word it's called a ligature the ligature is what holds the mouthpiece and the reed in place so that you can play all right so which one of these is the mouthpiece the black part which one is the reed the wooden part all right, now what's this silver thing called? The ligature. Awesome. All right, now that you know pretty much the bas basics of the mouthpiece, just remember the other parts of the clarinet are the barrel. The, the barrel. It's pretty much a, a barrel. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the top joint and the bottom joint. And what does this bottom piece look like to you? The bell. A bell? Or a bell. Awesome. Well, 
that is pretty much the whole setup of the clarinet. What you want to think of the clarinet, it's like a, mm, let's say like a dragon. Like it's a, it sounds really weird, but where would you where would you think the head of the dragon would be? Uh, maybe where the mouthpiece is. Mhm. Mm and where would you think the neck of the dragon is? The barrel. Awesome. Where would you think? the tail of the of the dragon is the belt mm -hmm. and the body is the upper and lower joints mm -hmm. yeah so with that you have yourself a perfectly awesome dragon mm -hmm. it may not sound like a dragon but it would just keep you mm, let's say it just makes you a little bit more familiar with it so that when you know and when you want to show other people you can say hey check out my dragon they will be a little bit jealous because all they have is the clarinet. But, alright, now that you have your clarinet ready and your armature is ready to play, we're going to teach you a few notes. Alright, so have your left and right hand on the clarinet. What you're going to want to do, you're going to want to keep that left thumb pushed down on there. Mm -hmm. And your pointer finger pushed down. Mm -hmm. That note is, call is called E, and the E sounds... Mm -hmm. It's a really good beginner note. So, do you want to try and play this note real quick? Sure. Alright, try it one more time, but bring the clarinet a little bit closer to you. There you go. There you go. Alright, I hear a little bit of air leaking in the sides. Alright, I want you to set your embouchure one more time on the clarinet. Alright, and... This is going to sound a little bit weird, but I want you to think of these part of your lips right here. Mm -hmm. They're called your corners, right? Mm -hmm. And your muscles are going to go around the clarinet. And I want you to picture your corners like it's a drawstring bag. Have you seen one of those? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I'm not saying like pull as tight as you can, but just bring it a little bit tighter so that you wouldn't have any air leakage. You want to play that E one more time? Mm -hmm. good all right and that e is going to be on the bottom line of the music staff all right and i have a little exercise for you to play do you think you can play this first line right here yeah all right let's try it i'll count you off all right one two three four excited playing the clarinet right now yeah awesome well the fun has just begun and it only gets better from there we're gonna learn another note this one's gonna be called D and this one's below the E you're gonna want all right I want you to finger your E mm -hmm. and just add your middle finger to it all right awesome all right can you play me a D real quick Sounding really good, Tyler. I'm glad you're really you're picking this up pretty quick. <laughs> Surprised. But all right, this one. All right, this D exercise is just like the E exercise. Do you think you could play that real quick? Yeah. All right. Let's try this real quick. All right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> shaky so it might be a reason why your tone is a little bit like 
like vibrant, if that's a good word for it. Right. Like the wah, 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 wah. Right. So I'd say just keep in control of your leg. I wouldn't really think about it that much, but I'd say keep that in mind for when you start practicing. All right. Now that you got D down, I want you to learn another note. This one's called C. Okay. You're going to finger it like D, mm -hmm. and then you're going to add your ring finger. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one's a little bit weird because there's no key on there, so you're going to have to feel for it. It's going to feel really... Your finger would find it because of the hole, mm -hmm. and where you want to place it is like the fatty part of your finger. Not like right here on your finger, but the tip of your finger. All right. Can you play me a C real quick? Awesome. Now I see that you pushed a little bit of air when you were playing a little bit. Um, I know you didn't probably do it on purpose. You probably coughed a little bit. I can understand. But just remember, keep a steady tone when you play. Alright. Now we're going to do just like the E and the D exercise, but we're going to do the C. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, sweet. Alright. One, two, Three, four. All right, awesome. Now that you know each of those three notes, can you, uh, I want to do a little test for you. Can you play me a D? Alright, can you play me an E? And now can you play me a C? Alright, remember, get that embouchure firm before you start playing. Don't go really nilly on me. There you go. Are you a little bit tense on your embouchure? I think so. Okay. You don't have to be as tense. Where would you say the most tense part of it is? Probably your corners. Probably the corners? Okay. You don't have... Just remember, not too tight, but not too loose. Just as long as it's around the mouthpiece, that you'll be... You'll be playing like a professional in no time. Just remember, the basics are what matter. Right. Have you noticed that uh, not all musicians like uh, start off as what they are right now, mm -hmm. but they start off with small stuff. Like I remember one of one of the professors down here, Dr. Waldecker. You remember how great of a man he is and how good of a player. Yeah. Well, these are the first few notes that he has started on. And now that you hear him doing all these diddles and flying notes and all, he sounds amazing. And one day, you're just going to surpass Dr. Waldecker. I can and, only hope. Uh, don't hope. I believe in you. You can do it. All right. I want you to try a little test to see if you can read the notes on the page mm -hmm. and just remember those three notes. And these are only going to have the E, the D, and the G. Okay. Or the C, I'm sorry. And also, I'm going to teach you a different way to articulate. So, where is your tongue when it hits the reed? It's on the tip. On the tip? Can you point to it? Like right at the tip. Okay. Well, instead of hitting the reed on the tip, you want to go a little bit lower because hitting the tip will cut off your sound and feel mm, a little strange. It's like like a sharp splinter when you right. play it like that. You'd want to play it around, let's say, just a little bit below. Okay. All right, you want to try that real quick? Yeah. On um, what note? Uh, try it on D and just do half notes for now. Do okay. I'm going to make you do two half notes, you're going to do a whole rest, and you're going to do two more half notes. You okay with that? Yeah. Okay. Let's try it. 
One, two, three, four. <laughs> You see the you see the little difference that it made yeah. when you uh, played on there. It's a little strange, but it's uh, something you have to practice on. It takes only it takes a few minutes, and you'll get it in no time. All right, I want you to try and play this line number five. All right. And remember when you take when you have this little breath mark right here. Um, the best thing for you to do if you need a when you uh, when you get the breath, mm -hmm. take the breath, but make sure that when you play again that your embouchure is firm and back on and everything. Remember the old man, and then he rests his top teeth on there. Mhm. Mm All right, we're gonna play number five. All right. All right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> there but other than that you were right on track do you want to try you want to try that one more time and move on yeah do you know the notes that you missed yes okay awesome <laughs> let's try that one more time on number five one two three four <laughs> all your mistakes you had a really good embouchure and your tone was really good all right Tyler we're gonna we're gonna play a really familiar song that everybody knows I mean this is like you know, this is still one of my favorite songs to this day all right it's called hot cross buns it's on uh, line seven um, I wouldn't want you to play like having your neck down so I'm gonna raise the stand up a little bit can you, see, can you see that a little bit better? Yeah. Okay, cool. Alright, remember, remember as you play, perfect posture, well, perfect posture, but like a relaxed posture, you don't want to be uptight and stiff, you want to be a little bit relaxed when you play, bring the clarinet up just a little bit closer to you, uh -huh. have a set embouchure, and one more tip, keep your fingers just a little bit closer to the clarinet, like, mm, how can I describe this, I'd say that your best bet would be that your fingers and the keys should be close at all times, like, mm, hmm, you kind of like hovering over them, yeah, just make, okay, just make sure they don't, like, do the flying karate kicks of death with your fingers. Okay. Okay, cool. Alright, so on number seven, we're gonna play hot cross buns. Remember everything now. Alright. One, two, three, four. <laughs> you were um, uh, just a little bit weird with your embouchure. I'd say, hmm, was it was it as firm as you had no. at first? No. Just remember when you take, you have this op 
you have this breath mark right here. Uh -huh. You can take a breath and then just reset your armature. You don't have to keep blowing till you run out of air. So, all right, let's try. Let's try right here until the end, because that uh, your breath. It can be a little bit better. Not a little bit better. What I want you to do when you take a breath, I don't want you to like move the clarinet away from you and just uh -huh. take like a gasp of air. But uh, just keep it on your face. The best way to say it, have you seen them? You know how fish breathe? Yeah. When they're underwater? Alright, put your clarinet to your face. And set your embouchure. Alright. I want, yeah. Like that? Just like that. Not too, not too <laughs> wide though. <laughs> just a, just enough so you can get a thing of air. Okay. Funny, funny little trick, right? <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. Let's start right here, and remember, you can take your little guppy breath right here. All right. One, two, three, four. <laughs> breath is an improvement. You've done so well in uh, too much time. I wish <laughs> I could teach you this whole book right now, but you need to get some rest and yeah, you did an awesome job, Tyler. Thank you. I am proud of you. Thank you. As teacher to student. You are awesome. Thank you.